First off, I need to say RIP Plushy. He doesn't get any tail fluff this summer. Poor, poor Plushy. Unfortunate. Mist is happy though. He gets to look at all these feet. Anyway, let's talk about Dobrynya. And I e honestly did eeny meeny miny mo between her and Shufu. And we landed on Dobrynya. So, good base attack for a four star. And I'm not doing like too much introduction because I don't know this character like that. Her design, like she doesn't look that much different from Ryder, but the swimsuit definitely makes a difference. I'm sure Vich helped her pick out her uh, swimsuit. 100% they went shopping together. Or she had her slaves make it. it it's one or the other. You know what? Her Koi and Sky whipping her slaves to make the swimsuit sounds way way more on brand all right yeah so 9.7k attack and 11.3k hp hp is on the lower side act definitely on the higher side for a four star star weight star gen are normal lancer numbers but she only has a four one quick card she has a four hit quick card though so better than normal Epi charge 0.45% with four hit arts cards. This is like normal. Zenobia has something very similar uh, for gain. But again, in terms of the gain, she only has three cards to really gen and then an extra attack. 4%. Uh, so if she gets hit, she gets more uh, MP than normal because the usual is a three per hit. First skill, 20% arts, 30% battery, 30 stars on a six turn cooldown. I'm not the happiest with this being 20, but it is tied to a 30 battery and 30 stars. Uh, if this was to go to a 30, 30% uh, 30 arts buff, I could definitely see them pushing to make it a seven turn and I just would not want that. I would prefer this to be as low as possible while still being a good skill. And this is definitely a very loaded, like not just battery. Like this is like you set up for a really good, like mighty chain uh, or brave chain with the MP. Nope. Next skill it wouldn't be Dobrynya without anti-dragon 20% attack, 30% crit damage and 50% power mod against dragons for three turns but it doesn't stop there if you're on water side she gets another 20 percent attack 20 percent crit damage and 20 percent defense just for being on water side like holy shit 40 percent attack and 50 percent crit damage for being on the water side that is free and because it's on a five turn, if you're doing any kind of cooldown reduction stuff and you can double stack this, like that is 40% attack. No, 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 80. Sorry, 80% attack from one uh, from two skill pops. It's really good that there are actual servants able to enable water side to like force this, but they definitely would not be as good as just fighting on water side and taking advantage of it. Third skill, stars per turn, gauge per turn, heal per turn, and increase MP gen rate of 30% for three turns. 10 stars per turn, 10 gauge per turn, 1000 HP. Her kit is not doing much things special. Like these are basic buffs, attack, defense, crit, uh, stars per turn, gauge per turn. Like all this stuff is like basic, not complicated because I'm going off space rush. Like right, I'm right off re-recording space rush. Um, like this is all basic stuff that has been in the game for a while, but it, she just has so much of it. I like, I don't want to say it's like, it's, she does have multiple skills like wrapped up into one. That's that's what I'm going to say. Because like my default for saying that is like, oh, Melison level. But no, I'm not going to compare Dobrynya to Melison. Hey, I just realized they're both single target arts lancers. God damn it. I really didn't want to like bring up the elephant in the room. 
Uh, anyway, there, yeah, no, like Melison, she has multiple, like multiple of her skills are basically more than one skill wrapped up into one. But unlike Melison, it's not because it's not because she only has two skills most of the time, and the third one is a throwaway. It's just because her skills are just not unique stuff, but all of them together just work really well together. I'm sorry for that rambling, but like, like, does it make sense though? It's like these by themselves are not OP skills. It's just that she has a lot of stuff going on with the skills. Melisid skills are OP. Fastest skills, uh, seventeen point five percent debuff resistance and eight percent quick up. Uh, again, unfortunately, unfortunate. She only has the one quick card when lancers are known to have a. Uh, Double Buster, double quick. But Arts, Arts Lancer makes a lot of sense. Uh, so I, if she was Buster, no, 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 no. Uh, default is gonna be mana loading. Uh, second pen would be uh, skill reloading, but eventually we're gonna be able to swap in the future and if you can get away with not needing mana loading, put it on uh, skill reloading. And if you can have both, have both. MP. Five hit, single target, damage to one enemy, seals their MP, reduces their arcs res down, and power mod against earth damage, uh, scaling with overcharge, lasts for one turn. Has a lot of stuff going on here. Big oof that Arts Res Down is not before damage, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, big oof that this isn't before damage. Uh, but for a challenge quest or like a boss fight, you're gonna be ramping this up anyway, and your Arts cards are gonna get better refund uh, in further waves. If you take out Melison out of the equation, she probably is one of the best single target uh, Arts Lancers we've gotten in a very, very long time. Like, I don't even remember the last one we had. Um, that was Arts. I know Bima, but Bima is not Arts as much as I'd want him to be Arts. Uh, Kagatora got the buff. Woo, shit. Seventy thousand for everything lining up. Now I'm, and then no matter what, she's still beating out like all her competition at MP1. Um, Kagetora being MP5 is an elephant in the room. Uh, but literally, as long as you have higher than MP1, you beat out Kagetora. Oof. Yeah, the Akage Tora definitely need that buff now. Big oof. Like, especially because Kage Tora, the MP gain is like one turn. Uh, they'll bring it out, like, even if she doesn't have 30% for three turns, even a 20% with a MP gain is more than, like, both of them laugh lasting for three turns. Big uh, plus for her. Uh, I'm going to go through the rest of this. And then we're going to just look at Kagetora real quick. Uh, Matt's level, not the worst. Dragon scales is what it is. Um, yeah, no, her mats to level are not that bad. She needs two different gold mats, and that's it. Bonsi, power mod against dragon. Power mod against earth attribute while she's on the field. That's a good constellation prize for um, CL. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I like Cabrinha way more than I like Kagetora. Like, just off the rip. Um, Kage yeah, Kagetora having an arts buff and a battery that needed to happen. Emmy Gen, only 30% 30, uh, 30 for one turn. There's a big oof. There's a big oof in Kagetora's kit. Um, 
Yeah. No. The, Kagetora is just... They are a super solid servant. Do not get me wrong. They are super solid. But they are a placeholder until you get someone better. Uh, for me, personally, uh, Dobrynia just completely stomps Kagetora. Uh, and the second you have MP2, you pretty much don't need Kagetora. I cannot see a real reason sorry i can't see a real reason to be using them unless they're not getting any treat whatsoever and even still i would still probably pick dobrynia over kagetora again just because that mp gain only being one turn is for me that's kind of a deal breaker for an art servant if if you're only supposed to loop like your mp twice and that's like all you're guaranteed to really get as a single target arts because uh, like eight hit mp with mp gain and eight hit mp without mp gain are not the same cassowary helps but i kind of have the same issue with um lee shuen especially lee shuen assassin uh, it's fine in a raid, but we don't get to raid that often. I do have value in servants that can output like really high damage, like in one turn. Uh, but usually they also have competition that is also able to handle if shit goes south or you're not actually able to like kill them in the one turn. Like Psycho Maguichi, uh, that raid boss, it, well, it gets significantly easier if you do it in two turns over one. Uh, Alright, that's it for me. This is a, definitely a quick one over having to redo Face the Rush, but is what it is. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.